In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an underground farm or garden. So what I did was, it took quite a while, but I had to clear out all this rock to make a space. Now because it's such a large open space, I put some columns here for support. I decided I wanted my light shaft to be here. And I have one up there, see? So all it takes is that one um, opening to give light to this whole area. So now you can see where the grass has grown. That's where the light hits. Now if you come to the edges, no grass is growing here on the edge because the light doesn't reach there. I can go all around here and the light doesn't reach here so plants will not grow there. Plants won't grow here. But here and all along here you know, it's kind of like a diamond shape. So crops will grow here and along here and all in the middle crops will grow. As soon as I put down the ground then the grass started to growing and I could tell where the line was because no grass would grow over here because it doesn't have the sunlight. Now I just need to hoe this area. so that I can plant crops. So it's about, from this center one, it's about seven blocks from the, the center to each one of these pillars. Because um, I counted it all out. As you can see by this area, you can have a fairly <clears throat> large underground garden with just one shaft of uh, light and if you want a larger one you can add another shaft to expand the garden. And now so when I made the hole I didn't want to start down here and dig upwards because then stuff might uh, gravel or something might collapse on my head and I don't I don't know if you take damage from that in Alpha 15 I know you used to I haven't taken any damage that I know of in Alpha 15 so I decided I would start from the top so I counted from my hatch to that <clears throat> location So when I was going to make the shaft, I, I started here and I counted the blocks and I came over here and I made the hole. Now light will go through this frame, but I made this iron bar because this will be stronger than a frame. And so I'll put that there and that will keep me from accidentally falling down into it but it will let the light in. You know, you could put anything that, that lets light in, like a, you could use a trussing or a window pane or something like that. I use iron bars. That's nice and strong. So even, even the zombies, it would take a while for the zombies to break through it. Now the corn grows pretty tall, so you want this room to be large enough to accommodate the uh, height of the corn. Here's my corn. So there you have it folks. You can grow crops underground. I rather enjoyed the whole experience and it was successful and I will do it again. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe.